Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding drill through button that is in Power BI. So in Power BI, we have visualization and in that visualization, an option is there for drill through. So usually what the drill through means that you need to right click the concerned visual and you will be getting a drill through option. And if you select that drill through, you will get the details about that visual. So what it is, is with drill through in Power BI reports, you can create a destination target page in your report that focuses on a specific entity. So suppose in this example we are having top five products and we got the top five products in the stack bar chart so if you want to get more details about the product individual you can just right click in this product and you will get a menu and in that menu there will be an option called drill through and you can select that option and you can select the page whichever you want and you will be directed to a page like this where you will get more details about that product so suppose in this example you can see the customers who bought that product as well as the top five customers and top five locations so the only drawback you can see in this is that to get the details about the product you need to right click the chart so instead of right clicking the chart you can just if you just want to select the chart and you can have a button right down here and you can just select the button and if it is going to the details page it will be more good that's why we thought okay we can go for a button for this so that's why we are having a drill through product button here so you can select a chart you can select a product here to get the details you can select product and you can go to the drill through product button and it will be redirected to the product detail speech so we can see an example of this first we will make a drill through product list so in this page we are having a stacked bar chart here and we will select the product name we can select the product name here and we can select the total sales also so we need to get the top five products only so we can filter it by product name you can select the you can change this basic filtering to top and and you can give the five to the top and you can select the by the value means okay you need to select the total sales by which value you need to get the five so you can apply it and you got the top five products so i have already customized the chart here so that's why everything is showing properly so now we need to create the drill through page so for that one page i have taken and in that all the chart is there and I have customized it so we just we need to place the values in that so this is the cart chart and we need to place the product name in that so we got we have placed the product name so obviously as a default the first product name will be shown so that will change once that drill through option comes and this is a table visual and in this table we are going to show the date and then we will show the customer name and then we will show the quantity so we will move the quantity for a second then after customer name we will show the total sales so the next chart is the stack bar chart here we will be giving the top five customers so we can select the customer name here and you can select the total sales and here in the filters you can go and you can filter it you can go to customer name and you can select the filter type as top and and give five and give the value as total sales and apply it you will get the top five customers the same with the next chart also this is also stack bar you can go to location top five location top five countries you can select the countries and you can select the total sales and here also in the filter you can filter the country with top five and select the total sales for the value and apply the filter so we have created the drill through page and here the important thing what we need to do is that we need to select the drill through value to this page so obviously when you select this page you will see an option called drill through here and down you can see add drill through fields here so what field you are going to drill through we are we are going to drill through this product name that is what we saw here is under top five products this product's name we are going to drill through so we will select this product name and drag it to here this field so as soon as you drag it to this field this page has become a drill through page and you can see a back arrow has appeared here so whenever we select here and control right click in this control click in this back arrow it will go to the page where we are supposed so our drill through page is over and we can hide this page and now we will be going to our main page so here as usual if you want to select for drill through you can just right click here and you can see drill through and you can see the option is under product drill if you go to here you will see this product microsoft surface that is the one which we selected now if you are selecting toyota corolla you can just right click here drill through product drill through and you can see the name of the product and the customers who bought and the top five and the top five locations and customers here but instead of that we need a button here 
here so before creating the button first thing you need to do is that usually usually when you place the pointer here you can see a tool tip showing the product name the total sales and showing that over okay, right click to, to drill through so if you want you can keep it like that otherwise you can disable that you can select the chart you can go to the format and in the format you will be seeing in the general you can see two tips you can just disable it. and once you disable it nothing will be shown but still if you want you can right click and you can go to the drill through but we are not seeing that we are going to place a button here so for placing the button you can go to insert tab buttons is there you can right go to the buttons and you can just select a blank drag it and keep it under here you got the button now we will format the button so shape you can make it a rounded rectangle and go to the style and in the style you can enable the text option and is in the text option you can write drill through to product and you can enlarge the font if you want and font color we will do is we will make it as white and background we need to change so go to the fill enable the fill and change the color to the button color is to the chart color itself and make the transparency as zero so that we will be able to see whatever which is written there so remaining everything is fine now we need to go for the action so enable the action here and the type we are going to select it as drill through and the destination we already have a drill through page here product drill through so we are going to select that page product drill through and you can write a true tooltip if you want if you don't want to write the tooltip also it is okay because it is already showing as a default option so that's it we will try and see so now it looks like okay it is disabled now once we select one product here it is getting enabled and control click to go to the drill through page you can control and click here and it is going to the drill through page you can come back here and select another one you can just control and click this is going to the detailed product so at the same time you can right click here also and go to the page but this will be much user friendly because if you click here you can directly go to the page so hope this is an interesting one have a nice day